This video addresses the inspection and repair of the Watts 774 and 774 DCDA backflow prevention assemblies, sizes 2.5 through 6 inch. Before beginning any work, please familiarize yourself with these procedures to avoid harming yourself or damaging the valve. A copy of these instructions as well as specification sheets, repair kit ordering information, and additional product resources can be found online at watts.com. To inspect your backflow assembly, you'll need a socket wrench, a rubber mallet or hammer, a flat blade screwdriver, and an FDA approved lubricant. To begin your inspection, shut down the water supply by slowly closing both the outlet and inlet shutoff valves. Relieve any air or water pressure trapped within the system by slowly opening the number 2, number 3, and number 4 test cocks. With a wrench, disconnect the two bolts connecting the groove coupler. Once both pieces of the coupler have been safely set aside, remove the rubber gasket and lid to access the number 1 and number 2 cam check assemblies. Inside the assembly, you'll observe two check modules differentiated as the number one and number two, respectively. The number one check, which can often be unscrewed by hand, should be removed first, followed by the number two. If the number one check cannot be unthreaded by hand, insert a flat blade screwdriver against the check body and gently loosen it with a rubber mallet or hammer. Finish unthreading by hand. The number two check can be loosened by placing a long screwdriver between the studs on the check body and gently applying pressure. Once the check has been unscrewed, orient the cam arm downward and carefully lift it through the opening. To open and inspect the checks found in the 6 inch assemblies, first slide the cam arm over the opening stud on the outlet flange. Gently pull the arm back and lock the check open by placing the arm against the notch found on the check clapper. Checks found in the 2.5 to 4 inch modules can be opened by hand. Begin your inspection by cleaning the check module with water to remove any dirt or debris. Once clean, thoroughly dry the module before proceeding with the inspection. In many cases, damage or deeply embedded debris may be invisible to the naked eye and can only be detected by close examination and touch. Inspect all check components including the check body, clapper, seat, and o-ring for nicks, cuts, or debris. Take appropriate action to clean or replace any damaged parts. The 2.5 to 4 inch checks should be closed by hand while the 6 inch checks should be closed with the help of the opening stud found on the outlet flange. Finish by thoroughly cleaning the o-ring groove and lubricating the o-ring with an FDA approved lubricant. Checks should be reinstalled hand tight in reverse of how each was removed with the number 2 check going in first followed by the number 1. The number 2 check should be tightened by placing a long screwdriver between the lugs and tightening firmly. Tighten the number 1 check by hand only. Replace the rubber gasket around the valve access port. Reinstall the lid and carefully move the gasket into place, flush with the edge of the lid. The coupler should be reinstalled around the gasket and lid, tightening the bolts evenly with a socket wrench until the coupler makes even pad-to-pad -pad contact. With the gasket in place, restart the system by slowly opening the inlet shutoff valve, closing the number 2, number 3, and number 4 test cocks, and opening the outlet. For more information on local startup and testing procedures, consult your local municipality or manufacturer's representative.